One thing I need more than men to understand about women is that a woman can cheat on you and still love you. She can cheat on you and still respect you. Oh. Cheating has got absolutely nothing to do with respect and love. For women, we are able to dissociate sex from emotions and feelings. This is a joke? You understand? At this the end of the day, you should be grateful that she picked you, that you are the one she agreed to marry, that at the end of the day, you're the one she comes home to at night. No. By biological design, men are really able to satisfy a woman in one take. So when you start it, right, she's allowed to go out there and find somebody to finish what you started. It's just nature. Furthermore, when a no. woman goes out there to be promiscuous, she's only capable of bringing home one illegitimate pregnancy. Men, on the other hand, can bring home 1,000 illegitimate pregnancies. You understand? So by nature, by logical design, by science, women are allowed to be promiscuous because it's safer for us to be promiscuous than men. Also, it doesn't mean anything because we are able to separate our feelings, you know, from sex. Unlike men, they, they get so hooked up on sex, their entire identity is in sex. So it's not healthy for men to do that. So men, stop fretting, stop crying. It's got absolutely nothing to do with you. Women are naturally promiscuous and it's in our DNA and it's something that we cannot control. At the end of the day, just be grateful that she picked you that you are the one she chose at the end of the day, that you get to be, you know, the oga of her life, that you get to be the legitimate partner. You understand? Good. For, okay. First of all, I don't know if she's trolling or not. If she is, it's kind of funny because she sounded like how dudes talk. But the first thing I do is I always usually, most times in controversial videos like this, I usually go to the comments. Now, as you can see, like all the time, when you go to the comments, when women make t this type of content, mostly it's just women in the comments. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you look at it, it says, I'm not about to read all those, so you can pause and read if you want. But basically, it's women, you know, agreeing with her and being sarcastic. Here's some more comments right here. And that's this is what makes me, uh, leads me to believe that she's she's trying to use our own logic against us. Because you can see it right here. It says, I love how this is, uh, this is an ironic video, but the logic was logic, logicing, at least more than those miscreant men right this logic is very valid and with those emojis it's, it's, it seems like she's being very sarcastic or she's not there's really no way to find out she's actually being sarcastic or she's actually being truly real because she brought up some really good points which i all disagree with i don't disagree with everything but one of the main things she said is that women have the ability to separate sex from emotions which is totally invalid she said be glad that she picked you which is i'm going to get into that too when a woman steps out, she only runs the risk of one illegitimate pregnancy. But if a man steps out, it's like a thousand, it could be up to a thousand illegitimate pregnancies. I'm going to debunk that. And then she said it's safer for women to be promiscuous. I'm going to debunk that. The first point, women have the ability to separate sex from emotions, which is totally, totally, totally false. See, the thing is, here's the thing. I'm about to piss some women off and I, I'm not trying to and I, I never tried to, but I'm, I'm as, I got to be real in this content all the time. Women, y'all are getting entered into Men are the givers, women are the receivers. There's no way in the world that you being the receivers can go into any situation and say that there's your emotions don't get involved. We can just see, even if I don't even use that example as far as like you being the receivers and us being the givers, right? Us being the planters of the seed and you guys being the soil, the ground where the seed is planted. Even if I don't use that example, we can clearly see that women are the ones who usually struggle with attachment issues more than men. Not saying that men don't have any attachment issues when it comes to, you know, females and stuff like that. But it's usually the females who they, they, they the ones who go crazy and slash tires and do all type of stuff like that. I'm talking about in situations where it's supposed to be friends with benefits and then you do it so many times where she starts to think that she's actually your girl and then she find you another girl and she start acting like a girlfriend even though the initial agreement was friends with benefits. Yeah, y'all weren't even designed that way. Y'all have so much estrogen biologically and on a chemical level. And from my understanding what estrogen does, est estrogen is responsible for a lot of things. But one of the things that it's responsible for is y'all emotional variety. We have testosterone. That's responsible for like one emotion. It's responsible for different things like muscle and, and you know, facial hair and all type of things like that. Height, deep voice, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. But another thing that's, that's responsible for is the emotion of aggression. Because we need that for fighting. We need that for competition. We need that for alpha. That's You see what I'm saying? It's responsible for that singular emotion, aggression. And with that emotion, aggression, we just go to pound town with no feelings attached but the aggression feeling. Number two is be glad that she picked you. <laughs> be glad that she picked you. Look, I was taught by my dad that 
Women need to know that you're the prize. See, I, all this stuff about women being the prize, I wasn't taught that. I was taught that it's an honor and privilege for her to talk to me. You see what I'm saying? Now, although that might be a certain type of ideology to boost my confidence and my dad just being a dad and trying to boost my confidence as me being his son, um, it's not really far off. See, statistically speaking, there are way less men than there are women. So most women are fighting for us. Most women are fighting for our attention because it's less men. It's a plethora of women and different factors are contributed to that systemically, like, you know, the prison system and also, you know, men getting killed through war and, you know, street the streets war. You know what I'm saying? Not just war in Iraq, like the war out on the streets. It's that testosterone aggression that 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 thing causes when men handle their situations with each other. It it, it turns crazy. It, it, it can be it can be, you know, what I'm saying? It can, and it can be deadly. And to break it down even more, I'll give you an illustration. Say it's a thousand women, right? And it's a thousand men. Now, out of that thousand, it turns down to a 500 because men got killed, women went to prison, things like that. So now it's a thousand women and it's 500 men, right? From that 500 men, those thousand women, it ain't like them thousand women going to try to compete for those 500 men. No, what do women do? Women compete for the top 20%, the top 15 to 20%. So that that 500 men that they're them thousand women are competing for turns into like, I don't know the daggone math, but like 100 or something like that, or less than 100, which may be fast because I heard other people quote the statistic that 15, 15 to 17% of men in our community have 100% of the kids, leaving like 80% of the men like, single or what you know what i'm saying like 80 percent of black men don't even have kids that's crazy all the kids is 20 percent of men sharing women so even though women are the prize y'all really are never the prize because there's so many of y'all if you don't want us it's on to the next i mean it's so many of y'all i've to choose from number three if she steps out she only runs the risk of one illegitimate pregnancy but if a man steps out he runs the risk of having over a thousand illegitimate pregnancies let me tell you why that's wrong well, it's right and wrong. So first of all, I don't know what illegitimate means, but I know it's like a legal term, like legitimate, legitimacy, le you know what I'm saying? It's all in that legal jargon type thing. And I think legitimate just means valid. So if a woman goes out there and sleeps with somebody else, there's no way the man will be able to know if that is his child or not. He has to go based on trusting her word, which is very, very scary because there's a lot of women out here now. I think most women aren't like this, but there are a certain percentage of women who will actually sleep with another man and then have you raise that child thinking it's your child your whole life. Then you're wondering why you don't look like, the, why the kid don't look like you. Now, the reason why a man cannot go out there and have an illegitimate children or pregnancy, if, if that's the case, because the women always know who the father is. You see what I'm saying? Even if she doesn't know, she knew who she slept with. She made the choice of who she allowed to receive into her and allow her to enter into her in order to put a seed in her to have a child. So all that is up. The illegitimate means that, she, <laughs> you know, I know what I mean. I ain't got to back into this more. Number four, she said it's safer for women to be promiscuous than it is for men to be promiscuous. That is also false because what I heard and I haven't done, I haven't done my verifiable data research or anything like that. But I just know based on the biology of women and how y'all are designed down there where the sun don't really be shining much. It shine when y'all let it. But biologically speaking, diseases and ailments like to travel where it's wet and where it's warm. Okay? Y'all know what I'm going with this. Men, we're, usually, we're dry. Women are wet. So it's actually easier for them to get an STD than a man is. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So after all that being said and me possibly debunking everything that she said, all those four points that I brought up, it causes me to believe that she's being sarcastic and she's trying to use it as a way of, she's trying to be sarcastic to use our own logic against us to show us how silly our logic is. But the only thing is, and just like you use that logic, trying to use the logic against us, I'm going to use the same language that I use against us. The same thing is, uh, the only thing is, boo-boo, uh, honey, uh, uh, sweetie, just like y'all be saying to us, boo-boo, and you know, the only thing is, boo-boo. <laughs> I felt so weird doing that but the only thing is um y'all don't want to accept men's nature if you're going to get with a man don't get with an alpha male in a relationship y'all keep choosing these alpha males and y'all keep getting disappointed because the alphas are always going to have the highest level of testosterone the highest options to choose from or the most the most amount of options to choose from in women y'all keep choosing these alpha males you all need to be choosing these sigma males from my understanding i think sigma is just a dude about his business 
Y'all need to be choosing these beta males. I know y'all ain't attracted to it, but if y'all want the type of life y'all want, y'all got to get with these beta males and these sigma males. Now, these sigma males, from my understanding, they're not pushovers, but the beta males are, if you want a happy life, get yourself a beta male. You ain't got to know about no cheating. I got a friend, and I hope he don't watch this video. I got a friend who's a beta male. He ain't never going to step out on his wife. He's so daggone beta. You know what I'm saying? He's, yes, honey, and whatever you need, honey. And she just be running all over him. I be feeling so I'd be like, oh my goodness. Hey, tell me what y'all think, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I could be wrong. I don't, I don't come on here thinking I'm always right about everything. Everything is open for discussion so that I can learn more. Have a good day. <laughs>